Yo, what's up guys? And welcome back to today's vlog. So I wanted to start off today with a little bit of a story about something that happened this morning. Evelyn and I were sitting there having breakfast. I had made this delicious egg and burrito kind of combination. I had the shredded cheese, I had the scrambled eggs, and of course we wrapped it all up in a nice little burrito sized package, sprinkled a little bit of sriracha on it, and it was on fire. This thing was delicious. Evelyn made this amazing coffee. She had her cream, her sugar, you know, the whole works, right? And it was delicious. But here's what happened. So I'm going in for seconds. I'm about to dig into this fat burrito and I'm all excited. I'm like, you know what? Wait a minute. I need to add a little bit more hot sauce to it. So I reach, I go to grab the hot sauce and BAM! I knocked over an entire cup of coffee all over Evelyn. Needless to say, she was not too happy about that. So she's sitting there and she's panicking. She's like, oh my God, what's going on? What's happening? My first instinct, all right, grab her, take her to the sink and just start throwing water on her. So I grab her by the arm and I run her to the kitchen sink. I grab the first thing I could. I just grabbed this glass and I took it and filled it with water and I'm just like dousing her with water just like throwing it on her and I feel like I'm putting out a fire but man it was intense luckily the coffee wasn't hot the coffee was sitting there for about 15 minutes on the kitchen table while we were eating and it already cooled off enough I mean it was a little lukewarm so I can understand the adrenaline rush that she got probably you know just like panicking that oh my god I'm about to get burned but in the end it was all good nothing happened safe right so that was the first thing that started number two so after that I'm like you know what I'm gonna give Evelyn her breathing space let her kind of cool down no pun intended and I'm gonna go down and pay some bills. So I walked down to the post office and yes, I know I can pay them online. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go to the post office, pay the bills, be a responsible adult. So I took my camera with me because I was gonna do this kind of vlog introduction as I was going to pay my bills. But as I'm walking, all of a sudden out of nowhere, I'm about to whip out the camera and boom, a car crashed into another car. Now, of course, car accidents happen all the time. No big deal, right? So I sat there and I'm watching, I'm like, oh snap, you know, I'm like the only one that's reacting in this situation. I mean, there's a crowd of people on a busy street. Nobody else is reacting to this situation. So the two people get out of their cars and this poor lady that got hit, her bumper, her rear bumper is sitting on the floor, smashed to bits. She didn't even get out of the car, mad at all. And I'm sitting there like, What's going on? And the next thing you know, the other guy gets out of the car. He's cool as a cucumber. I couldn't believe it. I could not imagine that two people that just got into a big car accident were just as cool as they could have been. If this would have been in the United States or even Panama, the people that got in the accident would have got out of the car. There would have been so many vulgar words being thrown about that the little children that are passing by would have to put on their earmuffs. All you gotta do is say earmuffs to them. Earmuffs. But anyway, nobody said anything, nobody stopped, nobody was panicking. I mean, it looked like it was just like a normal day for them. I couldn't believe it. So anyway, what happened next is I went down, I paid my bills, and I'm walking back. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll record something so I can show everybody what happened, right? I come back, not even 10 minutes later, 10 minutes had gone by, and I come back, and the cars were gone. I was like, wait a minute, did this happen? Did I just imagine this to happen? I couldn't believe it. The efficiency of how quickly everything got handled blew my mind. Again, if this was back in the United States, Panama there would have been a line of traffic a mile long because nobody's gonna move their car number one because they don't want to be found at fault for the accident and number two everyone just stops to see what's happening while they're in their cars so I don't know Malaysia you guys are awesome with getting your stuff handled so that's how our morning kicked off let me go ahead and get into what our video is gonna be about today so Evelyn and I are gonna be heading out as I promised to go buy that scale because you know what like I said in my last video my pants are not fitting the way they should and I know that after the four months that Evelyn and I have been living here that I probably gained at least a little bit of weight but it's okay you know what because I'm gonna work hard to get that weight off so here's what's gonna happen we're gonna go down we're gonna go buy a scale that I already priced out and I found that would be just what I want and you guys are gonna get to come along with us to go find it we're gonna find out how much I weigh cause I don't think Evelyn's gonna do weighing on camera but that's okay we're gonna set some goals anyway and you guys can maybe help us and motivate us and maybe give us some ideas of things that we can do here in Malaysia to work off these extra pounds from all the ice cream and all the other sweets and goodies that we've been eating man it's hot outside I think I need some deodorant for my forehead. Holy crap. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna go out, but first, we're gonna go meet up with a couple friends of mine because today one of my friends is actually celebrating their birthday and they're at some restaurant that's over there in Bangsar that, you know, the place where we had all that delicious ice cream. And we're gonna go ahead and meet up with them. So yeah, we'll pick up the video from there. Ready? Let's go. All right, guys, we made it to La Cave or the cave. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and pop in here. We're gonna have a couple drinks with our friends to celebrate their birthday and we're gonna go in and we're gonna have a good time. Oh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Let's go inside. Two hours later. Alright guys, so we just got done over at La Cave and that place is a lot of fun. That group of friends, gotta love them. Happy birthday again, Bridget, in case you're watching the video. I also wanna give a quick shout out to the owner of that bar that we were at, La Cave. 
that guy was super nice, super friendly, and if you guys are really looking for a fun night out, definitely go hit up that spot. The guy was very generous with all of us teachers that were there and having a good time and enjoying ourselves, so definitely go check that spot out. I'll leave the information in the description area down below if you wanna go check it out. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head out to the Curve Mall and we're gonna go pick up some of those things that we were talking about earlier, like the scale, and I think we're also gonna do another Ikea run as usual. Let's start heading out to the mall. We're gonna grab the train, jump on board, and Let's go. What is this thing? It looks like there's an alien about to pop out of it. <laughs> All right, give it a try. <laughs> How's it feel? <laughs> Would you buy one for the house? <laughs> we got to get some of these for the house. Sizes were really good, just what we needed. So anyway, right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Ikea, we're gonna grab some food there, and we're gonna do a little bit of shopping as well. We gotta pick up a cutting board and some other little trinkets that we need to get for the house that we haven't had yet. We just got done buying a bunch of travel adapters for our camera and for our cell phones because the ones that we had are from the United States and they don't work over here. And we've been using this travel adapter transformer kind of thing where it converts the voltage, but... Oh, but all night, what? But all night that thing runs and it makes this horrible humming sound that's just really annoying but oh well we've gotten kind of used to it but we really want to try to get rid of that stupid thing so anyway we're gonna go to head Ikea and grab a bite to eat. Alright so for all my friends back home you can see how cheap it is. I mean for four ring and fifty cent you get a hot dog, ice cream cone, coffee and I don't know what that is some sort of pastry for a dollar ten cents something like that. You can get a donut and a drink for a dollar so I mean if you really want to come out here and get something cheap you can easily eat a whole meal for nothing. Dang look at all this food we got. You're gonna eat all that by yourself right? <laughs> 17 ringgit, so that's what, four bucks or a little over four dollars? Something like that, but man, we're gonna eat good. For the record, we didn't eat all of that food all at once. We actually did save some of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a couple things that we need for the house. Number one, I wanna try to get something to kind of keep track of all the ideas that you guys have been leaving us for the comments. Something that I can put in my little office that I'm starting to build. My office is completely empty and I really wanna put something in there where I can keep notes write down ideas, whatever it is. And anytime somebody gives me a comment, I wanna make sure I know who said it so I can at least shout them out later on. Of course, we gotta buy a few other things as well. You know, typical household stuff, but not a big deal. All right, so we're gonna go fight the masses and see how far we get into this, because it's always a madhouse here. So this is something interesting. They closed the doors on us to, to leave the Ikea store. They like closed down all the warehouse gate doors so we can't even get out. Yo, check this out. This thing is closed up. I don't even know why, but we're not getting out anytime soon it looks like. And we are not the only ones. There is an entire crowd of people that are gonna be pissed off. But we're feeling good because we got our stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think this is their new way of trying to get people to buy some of this garden stuff. I'll tell you what, it's probably working. All right, so we don't know what happened. Apparently there was an alarm that was going off for like a good like 10 minutes. All of a sudden you see one of the security guys bum rushing it to the door to try to like shut off the alarm, I guess. I mean, the alarm's not going off anymore, but I don't know. So we got to the end of the terminal here, and, or to the end of the warehouse, and they actually closed it. Looks like we're free. I bet anything that there's gonna be a big bum rush to try to get to that cash register. This has gotta be the slowest gate in history. I about impale myself on this stupid bar. One eternity later. All right guys, mission accomplished. We got what we needed from Ikea. Now we're gonna head out and we'll get that scale that we needed from before. What? Check out this display for Deepo Valley. Those are all different colored sand pieces. Here's where we're gonna get the scale from. I already found one that I had wanted from last week, so let's see if we can get it. So we ended up getting the scale, we're gonna head back home and we're gonna go try it out. You guys are gonna come along and see how much, at least how much I weigh. Kinda scared for this one, but oh well, let's go. 
All right, guys, we are now back at the house and we're gonna go ahead and open up our new scale. I don't know if I'm really excited about this. To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous. After eating all this delicious food here in Malaysia for the last few months, I haven't really been hitting the gym and sticking to a strict diet or anything like that. I've been doing my push-ups every now and then, but it's just not enough. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open up the scale, we're gonna check it, and we're gonna see just how good Malaysia's been to me. Mm, maybe a little too good to me. <laughs> All right guys, here it is. The ultra slim fitness scale, whatever the Evo is. I don't even know what that means. Seems like a pretty decent scale. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like. First impression out of the box. It's got a pretty nice design on it. It's got this like glossy sort of glass type feel to it on the top. And of course you can see that it's digital, which is nice. One thing that I really like about it, I mean, being from the United States, we've always weighed everything in pounds. I'm not quite sure what you guys use here in Malaysia, probably kilograms. That seems like what most other countries use, but could be pounds, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. So for the record, before I moved here to Malaysia, I was weighing in roughly around 167 pounds, which even then by those standards is a little too much for my height, because I'm not a very tall guy to be honest. So I'm a little nervous about this one because I know I weigh more than that. But you know what? It's all good. It's all part of the challenge. All right guys, it's the moment of truth. Wish me luck. that moment when reality hits you right in the face and it doesn't feel good that's this kind of moment I've never in my life weighed as much as I do right now but that's okay you know what this is important to show these are those kind of things that are important for even yourself to kind of reflect on and think like are my eating habits or just my general overall habits are they good for me am I doing the right thing for me. So I'm glad that I actually ended up buying this scale because you know what? I was in complete denial that I was as bad as I am. In fact, this was a big eye opener. So from here on forth, people, we are gonna go on a weight loss challenge. I need to lose at least 30 pounds. And I'm not even joking, at least 30 pounds to get down to where I was at least when I started wanting to lose weight. But you know what? That doesn't mean we're not gonna do any food challenges. That doesn't mean I'm gonna not enjoy my delicious treats and goodies. But you know what? Moderation. Everything in moderation. As much as I would love to give up eating my sweets, can't do it. But here's what I am gonna do. I'm definitely gonna dedicate myself to losing at least two pounds a week. Something like that, I gotta start somewhere. And I gotta get my butt back in that gym. But you know what, it's okay. I'm gonna push myself, maybe you guys can relate to the situation, and we'll work together, we'll work through this together. And in fact, Evelyn did the same thing, of course I didn't record her, and she's not at her ideal weight where she wants to be either. So, her and I, we're gonna be doing some weight loss challenges to push each other. And I think to do that, we're gonna try to think of some fun ways that we can make it interactive for you guys. And we're gonna try to find different places here in Munkiara or even here in Kuala Lumpur where we can go and try out some like different gyms, different routines, different fitness centers. And we'll take you guys along with us and see how that goes. Cause maybe you know what? That might motivate you guys to go out and do some of the same things yourself. It's definitely not the best way to end a video, but you know what? That's the reality of the situation and that's okay. Like I said, we're gonna get through this. I'll start setting some goals and I'll get back to you guys on what those are. So thanks again guys for following along with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. If you guys wanna see how our weight loss challenge goes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're definitely gonna be asking for suggestions from you guys and hoping you guys can help us out. So we'll talk to you guys later.